five, four, three, two, one, transit. Orbiters, what's going on? Today's a special day. We're embarking on a mission and I need a crew. I want to tell you all about the mission, but there's sensitive ears around here. So let's get to a little bit more of a secure location. Much more secure. If you have the courage, if you have the tenacity, the bravery, and the spirit of exploration in you, leave a comment below if you want to join this team, which I'm designating the Special Missions Task Force. It's a brand new series we're going to launch here on the channel, and this is the first episode. And today's mission is a cool one. We're going to travel 30 miles away from where I'm located, and I'm going to go north into the southern portion of Wisconsin, and we're going to go take a photo of the International Space Station transiting the lunar surface. So the objectives for this mission are to capture at least one successful still image of the space station crossing the moon's surface. Number two, we want to be able to capture a wide shot of video content of the station in real time transiting uh, the lunar surface and across the sky as we're doing this. And the third objective, of course, is that you guys learn something either about astrophotography, the space station, how orbits work, uh, hopefully something in there. So the goal is to tackle all three of those things. And if we don't, if we fail, we'll just get out there and try again. Here we go. usually works. <sighs> All right. We made it. Somehow we made it. This uh this thing, I got to get that fixed. We've made it here in our spaceship and we're going to set up some gear, but let me tell you a little bit about exactly what we're going to be doing. This is the precise location we're supposed to be at to get the transit. And my goodness, I cannot believe the day we've been given in the best way possible. Take a look at this. I don't know if you can tell. It is crystal clear, not a cloud in the sky. I've been waiting for this day for about a month and praying and praying and praying that this opportunity was not going to be obstructed. And uh, we've been given gold. It's going to be awesome. So uh, we're going to get a bunch of gear set up. I'll uh, kind of time lapse it for you and we'll get it all going. And then I'll explain in more detail how we're going to do it. Um, to tackle our mission today, we're going to be doing three different shots. We do the primary shot the up close, get the transit. We're gonna do a medium shot on the second camera, trying to get a little bit wider of an area. And then we're gonna do third shot, which is this one to get an even wider shot. So three angles today, let the mission begin. Really quick before we get started, I wanna show you a couple of the apps that I'm using. So oh yeah, ISS detector for Android. Uh, the space station right now at 7.56 PM here in Wisconsin is just passing New Zealand. So it is speeding here at 17,500 miles per hour across the Pacific, following that yellow line to that little red dot, which is where we are in Wisconsin. And uh, that little circle around there is from our perspective when we can see it with the naked eye on the horizon. So uh, we got to hurry up here, get set up and uh, get going. But other things too, atomic clock right here. That's the other important one. You need dead accurate time for this. And where you get the times are here on ISS Transit Finder and all the information for our transit is right here. So yeah, gotta make sure we're correct. 8.28.44 p.m. So 20.28.44, that's our time. So let's get set up. All right, <laughs> I think we made it. Uh, so. I've got two cameras set up and I'm gonna refrain from using my telescope because I think it's just a little bit cumbersome and I'm not sure I'm gonna get exactly what I want out of it. But at least with this, I can guarantee success. So two cameras set up and the goal is to use this camera, which is a Sony a7R III. Thank you, Dave, for lending that to me uh, to get still photos of the moon directly. Uh, and there you can see um, the moon is in preview. I've got my exposure and everything set, I believe. Might have to make some adjustments. And then over here, I've got my Sony a7 III with a 35 millimeter lens. Oh, by the way, this is a 600 millimeter lens. It's the uh, contemporary 150 to 600 Sigma. And then this is the Sigma Art 1.4 35 millimeter lens. And uh, you can't really see it on the frame, but uh, you can see all the stars and the real red dots and the moon in the picture there. Um, so that's gonna be a wide field 
video and it'll kind of just go across the screen, which is cool. Just make sure I have some video content. So I'm gonna power this down for now. I've got uh, my remote trigger to do. So that's gonna take rapid bursts, get a ton of images and across five seconds, I should be able to get a lot of streaks in the image of the, well not streaks, but still individual images of the station going ping, 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 all the way across the frame. Here's the bonus about this, this transit here tonight. Um, is that it is uh, illuminated and lunar transits can have illuminated or unilluminated. And what that means is you can actually see the station with your naked eye illuminated as it's coming over, just like you would any other normal pass. Um, and in this case, the station will be bright. It's reflecting light. It's not a silhouette. So I've done lunar photography and you can see an image here, which I took last year as it went by Mars, just those little dots there along the moon's surface. It's actually a silhouette in that scenario. That was a non-illuminated one. So tonight's different. And I think this is the first nighttime illuminated lunar transit that I've done. So you guys are along for the ride on this one as, a, as I do something for the first time. So, but luckily the experience from all the other ones is uh, here with me tonight too. So we should be good to go and get some really crisp, sharp photos. Uh, all you gotta do is keep the moon in focus and you know, the rest should take care of itself. And now we play the waiting game, gotta check the time. So we've got about 14 minutes until showtime. So I'm gonna set up the GoPro. I'll probably turn around and talk to you guys and uh, every now and then. Uh, sorry if you can't see me, I'm in a bit of a shady spot, but this is exactly what I wanted. So currently the space station is almost at Baja California in Mexico. Um, but it's speeding fast, so once it gets to that circle, I'm gonna be in action mode here, so. Okay, oh, we have 10 minutes, 10 minutes until the pass, so uh, let's get real serious here, guys. I'm gonna set up the GoPro, make sure everything is good to go, and uh, we'll be on our way, and sorry if I get a little excited, because I think I'm gonna probably get pretty nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been nervous. I've been really nervous about today. I knew the weather was a thing and uh, yeah, we were able to get crystal clear weather, not a cloud. I know that's amazing and super lucky because man, believe me, I've had some pretty bad days with, with attempts and getting bad weather. Um, so this is definitely payback in a good way for, for being out here and you know, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm happy you guys are with me because being out here alone is like a little bit weird. So I get to kind of go on an adventure with people and uh, yeah, that makes it more special. Orbiters, this is the time. This is it. Uh, nine minutes, 53 seconds. We are standing by for lunar transit. Let's accomplish this mission. We're like less than five minutes away from the sighting happening, but we're also probably seven minutes or six minutes away from the pass, the transit. So. Um, yeah, this is getting crazy. I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. I'm ready to go. All the cameras are good to go. Um, preparation is everything. Spent the whole day planning for this and I was really hoping this is going to pay off. So uh, 0.78 seconds it's going to take for the International Space Station to cross the surface of the moon. So I get less than one second to nail this. The orbiters, can you feel it? Can you feel the excitement? This is what's so much fun about this is this is how you can get a taste of what's out there that is actually happening in orbit in another celestial body. Um, got to remember that Earth is a planet and we are on it and it is moving incredibly fast through space and we get to be witnesses to what happens elsewhere until the day that we get to go there and look back. This is the best we can do and I'd like to make the most of it and hopefully through this video you guys too can see what is actually available, what is going on out there in space right now above you. Guys get excited. This is going to be sweet. Let's do it. Okay. So the thing about this that's gonna be nuts is, I, like I said, I'm not used to doing this with an illuminated sighting. So we should be able to see the station as a dot going straight up into the moon. And uh, you know, that's gonna be like, I'm gonna be able to see it with my eyes. So for once, I'm not blindly shooting. I, like I kind of have to do in the other ones. Uh, and this time I get to see it about to happen again. I think that's gonna be like, oh, creepy. It's gonna be creepy. Station is visible from my position in one minute and 15 seconds. I think my exposure is correct. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, station's visible uh, according to the chart. So almost there, atomic clock ready. Two minutes and counting till the transit. I see the station, it's right over there. It's gonna be a real dim dot. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's gonna be coming up here nice and smooth. Uh, coming right at the moon, I can see it. It's gonna be a really bright sighting straight above us. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be it. I've got my 
medium shot over here on the side. It's, record, it's recording right now. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that my primary shot is good to go. And we've got 50 seconds, so here we go. All right, I can see the station on camera. 24 seconds, 24 seconds. Stand by for transit. In. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, transit. There it goes. Yes! I think we got it. That was incredible. Can you see it? Can you see it up there? <laughs> Dude, so bright. It's so bright. I'm gonna adjust my other camera, try and capture it, try and follow it. Okay. It's right above us, going manual. Let's turn this around. Let's uh, catch it as it's flying away. Now we just get to enjoy and then eventually check our, our photos here, but Wow, look how bright it is. Oh, can you see that in this shot? I don't know how well the GoPro is doing. Um, right here, there's the space station. It is approaching minus 4.4 magnitude, and magnitude is how we rate how bright things are in the night sky. Yeah, station is uh, just disappearing into the Earth's shadow right now, and I can't see it anymore. So the pass is finished. Oh gosh, crew, we did it. Thank you so much for being here with me as we got to do this. Um, I'm gonna power down my camera here just to make sure I've got battery. Yeah, I got plenty, 92%. Who am I kidding? What am I talking about? That was so exciting. I, I made sure as I was firing that uh, I, uh, I was making sure that I was watching it with my naked eye because I did not want to miss the chance to see the station go in front of it with my naked eye, it's so easy to get lost behind the lens and kind of guessing or blind firing or whatever it is. Like this time you don't have to do that. You get to experience it, you know, just naturally. And oh, oh my gosh, you guys, that was insane. That was insane. We did it, you guys. It's done, it's done. I gotta like de-nerve myself right now because I'm shaking. Shaken because now the if you saw my other video, you know the best part is going through and looking at the images you've gotten. And I am really, really hoping that I didn't blow the exposure on this. <laughs> so I'm gonna tear this down and uh, we'll be back in the car in just a moment and we'll see how we did. The thing about be it being like 37 degrees at this point is that your hands get really numb and my fingers are so numb, I can't like <laughs> I can't move these tiny, tiny little apparatuses, apparati, apparatus, a apparatuses, apparati, is that right? Someone look that up for me and let me know in the comments what is correct. The plural of the word apparatus. Final bag. Uh, I didn't put this back here before, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll stow it here safely, snugly in there. Okay, let's be where it's warm. You know, lock us in. All right, so before we take off, uh, here is the A7R3 <coughs> that we shot on. So anyway, let's uh, let's check the moon here. I'm zooming through my images. Oh yeah, okay, great. This is perfect. We can see here a little dot in that corner. The GoPro isn't gonna pick it up very well, but as I tra traverse back here, you can see it. It goes right past the moon. Do 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 do, and out of frame. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in here. Yep, there it is. Solar panels and all. You can see it. Uh, oh, dude, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yeah, there it is. This little dot right here. You guys, we did it. It looks absolutely perfect. Like I can't even emphasize how perfectly exposed this is. 
I, it was a guessing game with my ISO. I had no clue what to put it at. My shutter speed, I knew it was gonna be fine. My f-stop, it was gonna be fine. Um, technical jargon all day here, but um, yeah, this right here is a uh, successful lunar transit. This is cool. This is really cool. So the GoPro died and I'm switching over to my Pixel 5 here. Um, yeah, just to get my final thoughts in here, be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will show you the final composite of the space station going across the moon. Um, I'll give you all the details and all that. It's gonna be amazing. So stick around to the end. Also be sure to check out the Orbital Alliance on Instagram and Twitter, where I'm gonna share the photos and you can also look at them more closely and share them yourself with your friends. So let's go over our mission objectives really quick. Um, objective number one, did we get a still photo of the International Space Station transiting the moon with an illuminated presence? Yes, we did. Objective number two, did we get wide angle video of the space station uh, going by the moon in real time? Yes, we did, you can check that off. And number three, of course, is did you guys learn something from today's video? I did. I learned how awesome it is to see an illuminated transit across the moon in real time. That was insane. And I, I learned how to get the right settings and figure that out. So I learned something. Hopefully you guys learned something, whether it's about astrophotography. How do you do this? Can you go out and do this yourself? Maybe it's about how the space station works and how you can see it. I hope that there's just some granule of inspiration or knowledge or something like that that you guys can walk away with after this video. And of course, the next step of that is to share that knowledge with other people, get other people interested in space exploration so that we can build a new generation that is gonna expand the frontier out into the universe. If you checked the box that you learned something from today's video, I would love to hear from you on what it is that you learned or what got you so excited about space exploration today. Leave a comment below and let me know what it is that you learned. I would also love to ask if you guys did learn something or you did enjoy watching this video, please like it. I would love to see if we can set a new record for the channel. Can we get 50 likes on this video? We've never eclipsed, I don't know, it was like 25 or 26 uh, likes before. So if you guys are able to help me out with that, that would be incredible. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more missions or 60 seconds of space videos. There's a lot more coming to this channel and you guys, I am super excited. It's gonna be awesome. Again, stay tuned at the end of the video so that you don't miss the, uh, the images that we took tonight. And uh, until the next mission, you guys, thank you for being a part of this brand new special missions task force here on the Orbital Alliance. And of course, until the next time, Orbiters, I will see you all on the other side.